Today we'll look at how to create a hydrostatic load in SimCenter 3D. We'll create our simulation files and a linear static solution to test our hydrostatic load. We'd like to create a shell model and apply the load to shell elements. So we'll create a mid-surface representation of our geometry. Now before we create a mesh on it, while we're still in the idealized part, we want to check the direction of our surface normals because this will determine the direction of our hydrostatic load on our shell mesh. The hydrostatic load is applied in the opposite direction to the surface normal. A positive hydrostatic load will be in the opposite direction of the surface normal. So that's good because our fluid will be in the container and the load will be pointing outward. So we'll bring our mid-surface into our FEM so that we get a congruent mesh across all of these bodies. We'll go ahead and stitch edge to edge. Then we'll create our shell mesh. Now I've already specified a material in the CAD model and I've also specified in customer defaults that I'd like to inherit the mid-surface thickness to assign to the mesh. Now we can apply our constraints, we'll fix the bottom, and we'll put on our hydrostatic load. So first we want to check the direction of our gravity vector, and that should be down. Next, we'll specify where the surface of the liquid is in the container, and it's full right up to the top, so I'll specify a point on the top. Then we'll give the density of the fluid, and here we can put in a formula if we'd like for G. The surface pressure specifies any pressure on the surface of the fluid. Here we don't have any pressure on the surface of the fluid, so we'll leave that at zero. So here you can see by the direction of the arrows that the pressure is pointing outward, which is what we want. And we can also confirm what our hydrostatic load will be on our faces. There you can see it goes from zero at the top to our maximum pressure at the bottom. And then just as a final check, we'll go ahead and solve. and take a look at our displacement results.